as some of you may know, like ACT was uh, uh, the Alta Place Competitive Active Place trial. This was a, a large, pragmatic, uh, multi-center, pan-Canadian, uh, openly built, registry-linked, randomized control trial. Uh, we enrolled around 1,600 patients um, uh, with acute ischemic stroke presenting within four and a half hours of symptom onset. And they were randomized one is to one to either receive Alta Place or Tenecta Place. The inclusion exclusion criteria were very pragmatic as uh, the trial was set like that. And um, all patients who were above 18 years of age who were otherwise eligible for IV thrombolysis were uh, included in the, in the trial. And uh, yeah, so it was a non-inferiority trial, so uh, with a 5% non-inferiority margin. And uh, we did prove that tenecteplase is non-inferior to alteplase in treating acute ischemic stroke within four and a half hours of symptom onset. The results were published in The Lancet a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, the analysis that I'm presenting at the meeting is uh, equally interesting. So uh, what what I'm trying to, uh, what we'll be presenting is the effect of time to treatment benefit uh, of intravenous alteplase compared to tenecteplase in patients with acute ischemic stroke. So, you know, we've all been following this central dogma about, you know, time is brain and we know that there is a time effect um, seen with thrombolysis as well as with the endovascular treatment. Uh, however, uh, when I say with thrombolysis, this has only been tested with alteplase so far. So there's no data, you know, showing that is there a time effect with tenecteplase too? And if yes, is it different from alteplase? So that's, uh, you know, ACT gave us that data. So uh, that is what we'll be presenting. Specifically looking at two times, I'll be talking about the onset to needle times and the door to needle times to see if uh, they differ between alteplase and tenecteplase. Having said that, it's also important to remember, like, although the current guidelines uh, do approve uh, thrombolysis up to four and a half hours of symptom onset. There are, the FDA does not approve thrombolysis for the three to four and a half hour uh, window in um, in the US as well as in Canada. So uh, we, we are all treating patients up to four and a half hours, but from a regulatory perspective, um, it, it's all the is not approved for the later time window. Uh, having said that, we're analyzing the data in two groups. So we're comparing all the place with tending to place in the zero to three hour window and as well as in the three to four and a half hour window. Along with that, we're also seeing overall with time as a continuous measure if these effects are different. So yeah, so for, for the analysis, uh, we included patients who were enrolled or you know analyzed in the ACT trials, which was 1,577 patients. We excluded uh, cases who did not receive thrombolysis. Those patients who, were ran, uh, uh, who received thrombolysis beyond the four and a half hour time window or those who were in hospital strokes. So in the end, we were left with 1,093 patients in the zero to three hour window and uh, 375 patients in the three to four and a half hour window. So when comparing the baseline characteristics between uh, the, uh, between the alter place and tenectic place groups in the zero to three hour window, as well as in the three to four and a half hour window, given that this was a randomized controlled trial, we really didn't find any differences in baseline characteristics pertaining to age, sex, baseline in IHSS, site of occlusion, and even the workflow times. And in terms of efficacy, um, in the zero to three hour window, we found that um, similar to uh, similar to uh, what we found in the main trial, so also place and tenecteplase place were very similar in terms of primary outcome MRS zero to one, as well as MRS zero to two, as well as in all the safety outcomes. Having said that, in the three to four and a half hour window, we found that tenecteplase was doing way better as compared to alt place. And uh, the risk ratio, the adjusted risk ratio was 1.27, uh, favoring the tenecteplase arm for MRS 0 to 1 as uh, the primary outcome. Um, the length of hospital stay was also shorter. And uh, we had a pragmatic outcome called return to pre-stroke status that was also uh, significantly in favor of tenect place in the three to four and a half hour window. In terms of safety outcomes, uh, they were similar across uh, in both time windows uh, for both thrombolytics. And uh, when we compared mortality, symptomatic ICH rates, they were all similar um, uh, across all subgroups. Now, having said that, we uh, also tried to see continuous analysis of time 
um, in um, uh, uh, comparing all to place and 10 active place and uh, we found for our onset to needle times uh, there was not much difference in the two, zero to three hour window between all the place and 10 active place and again in the later half 10 active place did slightly better as compared to all the place but the p-value for interactions were not significant uh, for mr zero to one as well as for mr zero to two um, as against for dough to needle times, we found the nectar place to be consistently better as compared to all the place across all the time and tools for MRS 0 to 1 as well as for MRS 0 to 2. Uh, again, the p-value for interaction, however, was not significant in both these groups. So um, by by these results, we would conclude that, uh, you know, just as with IV all the place, Faster treatment leads to better outcomes in patients who were treated with tenecteplase as well. Uh, however, tenecteplase led to significantly better excellent outcome defined by MRS 0 to 1 as compared to all the place group in the later time window, which is a three to four and a half hour. And we did not find any difference in mortality or hemorrhage rates by thrombolytic across all time intervals.